Ah, oh, just enjoy the uh, downtown sounds from uh, Kingston here. I uh, just, uh, just might need to wait for audio there. How are you doing, Mike? Oh, we're okay. Just heard some sirens there. Oh, we can hear them. It just sounds like we're in Kingston. Okay, sure, <laughs> sure. Okay, let's keep those comments to a minimum. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Desley. Uh, uh, just, uh, just follow me. And uh, it's not going to be a free ride, though. It's uh, not afraid I'm to sure ask the tough questions be. here. Okay, not, not going to be as tough as Sarah Ferguson, but uh, going to be tougher than Lee Sales, let's say this. Oh! <laughs> okay, sure, almost ready here. And uh, a big welcome to our audience here, uh, Into People Inc., that's my phone. Comedy of errors here. Uh, apologies, guys, really. Turn that thing to silent. Just ridiculous here. It's my producer here. Okay, we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing. Take two, is it? Yeah, take two. Ah, uh, no, no, don't, don't bother slating. Just let it roll here. Highly skilled ed editors here. Okay, folks, this is a rare uh, thrill today here. In fact, uh, I got to admit uh, to some nerves. <laughs> Here, this is my first chance since coming to this country uh, to make some political connections. And uh, I'm not averse to making some contributions to certain uh, parties uh, based on some uh, specific criteria I've outlined in one memo. And I've provided this to you here, Desley. Uh, hang on, sorry, my producer is speaking to me here. What do you mean she no longer holds office? What? Please contact Cameron Dick immediately. <laughs> okay, many apologies, Desley. Apo That's apologies all right. for my crew That's here. All right. Okay, down to business here and uh, absolute incompetence here. Okay, my guest today, folks, uh, is, uh, uh, was a long serving state member for uh, Woodridge, uh, Desley Scott. Desley, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Milan. Good to be here. Well, uh, just a pleasure here. And this is a pilot episode, Desley. Got to let you oh, know here. We're the first, are we? Absolutely. Well, uh, certainly, very honoured. Certainly potential for some uh, syndications here. Uh, Netflix, please call oh. us here. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> yeah, sure. Netflix, uh, uh, any of the networks, really. Seven. Kerry Stokes, please. <laughs> Kerry Packer. Briz 31? Yes. Anyone? Uh, speaking of Briz 31, uh, notice the funding's been cut here. Uh, Malcolm Turnbull wants to sell the, uh, sell the uh, spectrum here. That's a real shame, isn't it? Public it's, access, I think, yeah. is important, Desley, really. I agree. I agree. It's where a lot of people get their start in the media. I Absolutely. I've yeah. uh, got my start with one uh, public access channel in Belgrade several years ago. And uh, yeah, just move out here, it's starting to make some uh, inroads here. Mm -hmm. uh, not superstar yet, but uh, working on it. Okay, uh, uh, down to business. Sorry, Desley got sidetracked here. Uh, but uh, by the way, speaking of communications here, you guys have on the NBN yet? Well, the NBN's a bit of a sad thing. It's taking so long, isn't it? Well, sure. So... Wasn't planning on uh, getting uh, Partisan political here, Desley, but no. sure, but sure. Okay, down to the big issues here. Okay, uh, Desley, I, I noticed this morning uh, you uh, used one means of uh, terrestrial transit, and I was under impression as a former uh, member, you have some uh, privileges uh, with uh, some uh, helicopter transports here. <laughs> Actually, I've been in a helicopter only once. Sure, sure. And uh, Paid I've... for by the state. Um, Obviously. I was with the I was with the police minister, so sure. um, I think I was okay. But, it was on uh, government business, though, of course. It was on government business, and it was actually in the city of Gladstone, sure, looking sure. over the harbour and the mines. So it wasn't one flight from uh, Woodridge to Kingston. No, it wasn't. Sure, sure. And I, you know, I think I've probably never even taken 
more than a handful of cabs in that time. So absolutely, I've relied on husband and sometimes sons to take me places. <laughs> yeah, know the feeling here. But uh, if one, one thing I know here about Queensland, Desley, you don't want to mess with uh, forward estimates committees. No, I, I think we leave that to our treasurers. Sure. And uh, I pride myself in being a people person, so I let others look after the money. Absolutely. You spend a lot of time in the electorate here. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of our international viewers and uh, viewers uh, further afield in the country here uh, have, uh, don't know Logan. So can you explain the oh, region well. here? What is the region here? Logan is just a wonderful um, mosaic of the world, really. Sure. People from every country and uh, many languages, many religions, and it's why we love the place so much. So um, over the years, our refugee settlement um, service access have been able to resettle just thousands of people. So um, some of our schools have a huge number of refugees. Um, Mabel Park, 60% Pacific Islanders. So there's always a celebration, lots of festivals, always lots happening, wonderful food, wonderful singing, dancing, just a joy. Sure, absolutely. The people here have been fantastic to me, gave me mm. a good start here. Fantastic. Some casual work on the show here, oh. uh, ho hopefully turning into something more permanent. <laughs> But uh, what are some challenges out here? I mean, there uh, must be some uh, challenges here too. There are challenges. There's always some um, challenges in a place like Logan. Sure. And some of those have been, um, well, I, I guess employment is always a challenge. And uh, we've um, had skilling Queenslanders for work, work for the Dole programs to get people back into work. Sure. And we're hoping that the economy is going to take off well, so that um, there's going to be a lot of jobs created. But housing's always been with us as a problem. And uh, yeah, I think health's probably one of our big issues to try and get people to um, exercise, eat more healthily. Preventative and health. Preventative health is just so important because the budget's never going to be able to adequately cope with the number of diabetes cases, heart problems and so on. So we need to get everyone on board with our health programs. Well, I'm happy, happy to provide some services here. I'm putting, the, uh, putting together one uh, fitness program. Fantastic. Uh, Milan's, uh, Milan's uh, fitness program. I can see that you're a very fit young man, Milan. Uh, do what I can, you know. No spring chicken anymore. <laughs> But uh, sure, sure, I like to look after myself here. Thanks. And uh, just back to employment here, mm -hmm. I noticed I'm working with some uh, people here, uh, job seekers mm -hmm. uh, out here, and uh, I know a little, little bit of downturn here. I think the rate has increased a little bit, a little bit challenging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure uh, the way forward, I mean, need to get the economy uh, moving, sure. I mean, do we need to create some um, uh, coal-fired uh, power stations out here, maybe? <laughs> I don't know that that's the way to Apparently go. Apparently good for humanity, Desley, please. Well, why don't we put a few more solar panels on roofs? I don't mind wind farms. You, you make sense here. Don't mind wind farms sure. at all. But I think um, probably we're going to see some jobs appear that uh, we've probably not even thought about in the future. True story. There's, Get this NBN rolled out, I that's say. That's true, that's true. And I know that there's a lot more money going into um, research sure. um, in our scientific world. So there could be wonderful innovations Sure, ahead. I believe we have some researchers uh, coming in from QUT soon to do the show. Oh, good. Yeah, looking forward to wonderful. making some connections here. I think that's a great Area thing. of uh, aged care. Yes, area of aged care. And we have so many in Logan, don't sure, we? Sure, sure. Yes, so I'm intimately involved in one of them. Oh, nice. With Which my, organisation, Desley? With our care. Our my care. my mum was there for it. My dad was there for a few years. Sure. Then my mum was there for five, and now my aunt is left there. So I was with her yesterday, and the care there is wonderful. Ah, fantastic. Now, back to some uh, organisations here in Logan, Desley. Mm -hmm. What does some of the standout uh, people doing fine work here? Okay. Individuals, even. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
back 30 years ago when I first started working in Woodridge, um, Gail Kerr was running a program just skilling people up to get them into jobs. And then more and more migrants started coming and the federal government was offering funding to settle them into areas where housing was cheap. And so they started coming and um, so Gail has actually grown that organisation in a remarkable way. And uh, now it's called Access Services and it's probably the most um, well recognised and foremost mig um, refugee settlement agency in Australia. She mm. goes to Geneva every year and uh, no doubt um, waves the flag for Logan City. Uh, just a fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, De Desley, I know you've been active here. How, how many years now in the Woodridge? Well, I've, um, I've been here 30 years. 30 years. And uh, 14 years as the Member of Parliament. Sure. Yeah. Now, previously uh, electorate uh, secretary? Yes, yes, for 16 years. And in, in that time, the, um, I guess the members of parliament weren't quite so active and uh, we didn't have the member in the office as regularly as we are now. So I used to get called the member for Woodridge. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then I suddenly got thrown into the job myself. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of our leaders here, been a couple of changes during your time mm, here. They have. Any chance to name favourites here? I know there's been uh, Premier Beattie, uh, uh, yeah. Ms Bly, yeah. Uh, yeah. of course uh, Anastasia, yeah. Palaszczuk. Well, each, each leader is different. Sure. And uh, I actually was working for a new young member in Woodridge when he was implicated in an issue that was high in the media. Sure. And he offered his resignation and the next thing I had a call from Peter Beattie asking me if I would run for Parliament. And I initially said, no way. But um, he talked me into it, and there was an election in just six weeks so after that. a persuasive guy, this Peter. Very, very persuasive. Sure. He was a man of the people, and people just loved him. So. But uh, good to see the, yeah. the females taken over here. They have. It's been Anna Bly, Anastasia. That's true. And in, in the last um, term, when we were in opposition, and started out with seven of us, there were four women and three men. Sure. So, and now in Cabinet, there's only 14 ministers and eight of them are women. Sure, I was and going to ask you about this powerful. time. I, I noticed there was a sociological experiment a few years ago uh, <laughs> where the uh, ex-Lord Mayor of Brisbane was installed as uh, Premier of the State. That's true. And your party spent a little bit of time in the wilderness here. We did. We the did. increased workload. Tell me about this time here. Um, well, I must admit, watching the TV that election night, I was suddenly filled with dread because um, I realised that there were only going to be, at that time we didn't know how many there would be, turned out to be seven of us. And in a former time when I'd been asked if I would be a, um, either a committee chair or a parliamentary secretary, to one of the ministers, I'd always said no, because Woodridge demands so much of your time. But now I realise I would have to be a shadow minister. Sure. And that was a very scary thing for me. And I ended up with portfolios that really... 17 portfolios. Well, not quite, but they were ones that suited the area here. So oh, it, sure. was, it was communities, child safety, disabilities, women, youth, and multicultural affairs. Sure, I was at one uh, Breaking Barriers uh, conference recently down at oh. the City Council here, mm -hmm. and uh, just a fantastic event and uh, much focus on uh, some uh, rollout of uh, NDIS. Uh, you oh, know about yes, this thing? Absolutely. Very, very vital because it will allow families with a disabled child sure. to access funding that will be funding that they can actually direct to where that person needs it. Sure. So the NDIS is a National Disability Insurance Scheme and for um, an incredible time there have been some people that have needed funding for various things and the money has just not been there. So we'll ensure that there's um, funding to actually help those with disabilities. Sure. Fantastic. Sure. 
And uh, I was thinking about making one claim for my back. <laughs> it's uh, in injury from the Balkans water of the 90s, but I'm not going to do that because starting to feel better and there's uh, those in need uh, more. I think that's a good thing. And I think with your ex your exercise program, Milan, you might um, be able to... Re yeah, it's all about rebuilding the muscle yeah, tone. absolutely, absolutely. Sure, and uh, this has just been the joy, Desley, really. But uh, just on to personal uh, issues here, oh, uh, no longer the member here, but uh, you're still on the, the hamster wheel or uh, are <laughs> you taking some uh, time? Personal uh, time dear. here. Well, I don't know that um, living here and working with the people here, you can never just completely step away. Sure. So um, I'm doing a few things. I, I'm chair of a committee for the... Um, I guess the RDA, which is the Regional Development Authority for Australia, and it's around chronic illness. So we're hoping that we can actually affect changes of lifestyle to help people in their um, health and well-being. And last week I was at Mabel Park High. We had a multicultural night that was simply wonderful. That um, was raising funds for bursaries for students, and it was in memory of two of their students who died in our tragic fire when we lost 11, um, tragic, you know, dreadful time. So um, that was a, a great evening. So, and I think um, mid-September I'm speaking to some of the principals at a, an Enable Schools event. And uh, yes, so I'm keeping, keeping busy. I'm about to go to Sydney and uh, speak at a forum down there on multicultural affairs. And yeah. Quite active here so, still. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, just good to speak to you here. Desley, just on a side note here, mm. uh, used to be uh, drinking buddies with uh, one of your off offspring. Middle son. And, Middle uh, son, yes. Yeah, please, uh, unfortunately, we had to let him go from the show here. Uh, but listen, with no malice, really, Desley, Desley, Please pass on just our regards to, uh, to this guy. Oh, I will. I will. And uh, may maybe we can put him on. We'll find a role for him here. He's, he's at home right now, actually. Sure, yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll definitely tell him he's going to be in the spotlight one day. Okay, fine. Now, uh, <laughs> Desley, uh, I hope you're okay getting out of here. Which, uh, which uh, direction you're taking home? You like the Ipswich motorway? Mm, just down Kingston Road, down Compton Road, and I'll be home. Ah, traditional way. Live very close. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, now, guys, uh, this is episode one, and uh, just being a privilege to have an uh, ex-member uh, for Woodridge here, state member, uh, Desley Scott, and uh, please uh, say thanks, folks, uh, to Desley today <laughs> for coming in. Uh, yeah, applause, please, please, thank guys, you. really. Thank sure. you very much. And sorry, Desley, I promised these guys uh, just to open the floor. Maybe a couple questions, oh, maybe dear. just a couple, couple Whoa. only. Push for time here. Anyone here? They're all mute. Rushing to the microphone here. There you go. I think you've asked all the questions. Okay, sure. We've covered everything here, Desley. <laughs> okay, guys, just a pleasure. Hope to see you on the next episode. That's been uh, Desley Scott, folks. Thanks. Uh, Milan, out. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, okay, there's uh, lunch provided here. Not sticking to Milan's fitness regime here. <laughs> Give me the pizza, guys, really. <laughs>